What's up? This your man Step, and today we're playing I'm Lost. So, wasn't anything on this damn game in the description. The dev was like, hey, this is for you to determine on what the story is about. But two people played it already, and they said it was a good game. So, I'm going to go ahead and be one of the other people to say, you know what? The game may be good, may be bad. No, from doctor, your son may not live another month. He's in bad pain and recently fell into a coma, which means there's tumors actively growing on his brain stem. You know what? That's like the worst. That's some of the worst news you could ever get on a day. What, what if you was having a good day and the doctor called you with this shit? You had just got a pay raise. You was having a good time. You got on. You went on a date. Goddamn. You, you got you tasted the best candy ever man you made the perfect pie and and then that shit just happened you know what I'm saying call me a visit my office all right you give me some time to decide on what 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 you want to do it's not an easy decision that sucks well damn and you hit a deer that's got to be some ass just saying man Damn deers. I had my experiences with them. Not saying I ever hit one, but got damn close to killing one of them. You know what I'm saying? They just come out of nowhere. I hope this is not a game about depression or suicide because I don't play them kind of games. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I want to say we're playing as the daddy who just got in a car crash, so he kind of going through the same experience, like a coma or some shit, just like his son. I think, if not the dad, we're playing as the son who is going towards the light. So, shit, I don't know. I did ass thought this was going to be a, a, a horror game. Because it looked like one with the screenshots, but based on the title, obviously the dad is lost or his son is lost. Somebody lost, man. Uh oh. Yep. A damn horror game. Oh my god. It started out so sweet. I'm like, is it gonna be a story game about, you know, blah? Nope. It's a horror game dealing with hell. This looked like hell to me. It's raining blood. It just don't look like blood because everything is orange. You know what I'm saying? Fire orange, damn ground orange, the rain orange, but it's really red. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I said, everything orange. You know, the, the fire or who the hell is that? All right, so they burning. Oh, it's more of, it's more of them. All right, damn well, the, all right. I hope it feel good. Am I in hell? I feel like the daddy in hell, but what the hell did he do to get in hell? The game started out so nice. What the fuck happened? Why the hell, how the hell could it possibly take a turn like that? Oh, here we go, okay. Am I being dragged? I'm being dragged in the dirt. None of that sounds good, people. It all sound bad. It all sound hoary blood. All right, so we got a problem. And I'm guessing we got to follow this Arrow Man. We got to follow Arrow Man. But this is exactly where the hell I'm going. No, I don't have a flashlight, and I can barely run. So if it come down to me having to find something on the ground or dodging a monster, none of that's going to happen. And why the hell does it sound like I'm near the ocean, man? It legit sound like waves are crashing. Unless... What I'm going through in my head is dealing with the water, man, and I just, I constantly, who the hell was that? And I'm constantly hearing the water in my head. Maybe he can have an out-of-body experience and the last thing he's hearing is water, you know, from the ocean. But that sounds like the ocean. Yet I'm around, a, I'm around a bunch of 
fucking trees and shit. Hear something around me, man. Shit making me uncomfortable. I'm lost. Why are you lost? Who the hell am I playing as? Oh, what's this now? A barn, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going in, people. We're going in, people. Here we come. Is that blood? That is blood. All right, well, that ain't good. I've been stuck in my home for the last five days on November the 16th, was chased by a humanoid creature, roughly five foot five greenish color hey that's what I saw I'm gonna head out I'm gonna head out here soon to find food and water God be with me okay what's up with the numbers down there I have no idea okay so somebody was stuck for five days oh shit oh fuck hey boy that scared the shit out of me That scared the shit out of me. Like, who are we playing as? The dad or the son, man? Because both of them having bad accidents, man. The son had cancer and all this stuff. He in a coma. The dad got in a car crash. I mean, obviously, they, they got to tell us at the end. You're not just going to leave us out in the open like this by ourselves. But then again, I'm lost. That's exactly what I'm going to be feeling when I get out of this game. And right now, I'm guessing I'm playing as the son, man. No, I'm playing as the dad. Gotta be playing as the dad, man. We have one new voice message from 762-431-9901 received Friday. I dare somebody to call that number. Call it. Tell me what happened. I, I don't want to replay none of that because I don't even know what the hell was going on in that message. Obviously, I want to say my wife. Nope. Did that shit just say nope? Because that's exactly what's going on in my head. It said it for me. I got to sit down. No, I won't help you. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't help you. I can't help you. I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh shit! All right. Well, you know what? I I I don't know. I mean, is that is that the Midnight Man? Is the Creeper in my house, man? Two weeks later. This game is good with the the sneaking up on you effect. You know what I'm saying? The jump scare is corny as fuck. Well, except when the door slammed in my face. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I'm in the damn bathroom. Oh, what kind of bathroom ain't got a door, man? That's some BS. How you gonna have a bathroom out in the open? Have company sitting on the couches and stuff watching TV and you back here taking a shit. Like, what? Well, that, that's, that, that, that ain't my kind of tea, man. Oh, is this Ouija man coming up? Well, somebody put a pentagram on my table. Use a knife my ass. That's a big ass hunting knife. Plays blood on pentagram. Okay. Y'all ever seen that damn Wreck-It Ralph movie? Was it the Wreck-It Ralph movie? It was the Wreck-It Ralph movie where the video game characters legit. Like, when you turn off the games they in, they legit have a mind of their own. And they all get together and it's like big-ass fairyland and stuff. And they think for themselves and shit. And they tell you about their experiences. That's exactly what the fuck I feel like game develop, what game characters in these little indie games do. You know what I'm saying? You turn the game off, you kill them, they be like... What the fuck was I thinking? This is not me. It's the person controlling me. They don't want to do this shit. Why are you making them do this shit? You know what I'm saying? At some point, 
you got to draw the line and say, you know what? If I wouldn't do it in real life, why the fuck would I com command my damn design character in my game to do something stupid like this? But you know what? That's just me, man. And yes, I did just transform out of my hoodie. Let's do this. Okay. All right. I did that damn thing. I'm leaving. Oh, it got dark. Oh. I see a lot of y'all. It's the dark people. They don't want any part of me. I will cut every last one of y'all motherfuckers. I don't play that. They getting closer? Oh shit, they getting closer. Okay, we got a problem. We got a fucking problem. They coming. They coming. You know what? Before I give y'all the chance, I'm gonna just come to y'all. No, I can't. All right, I can't go to them. All right, then, well, we just gotta wait on them to bring their asses over here. You know what? I'm gonna just give y'all a... Like, what the hell is going on, man? It The game started out like one of them little sad stories. You know, the dad going on a road trip because his, you know, and then he get this little message, his son going through. A man found dead in an apartment last Wednesday. Police were called to the scene of a man found dead in his apartment. It's unclear if it was suicide, however, knife and blood. Was located within the apartment, but the man looks almost untouched aside from a small wound on the hand. Police say that he... That the body had no visible marks to rule out that he died from self-harm with a knife. No poison was located. The man left behind the son who surely recovered after his father's death. I know what happened. Tell me I'm wrong. Watch this shit. Well, I mean, never mind. It's already in the damn thing. He sold his soul. Basically, the dad got that call or that message, you know, from the doctor saying, Hey, my son, well, your son is dying from cancer. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that we could possibly, you know, heal him or something like that. He in a coma. We got to figure something out. You either gonna pay some extra money to get it going, or it's it's all left up to God. You know what I'm saying? So the dad, they didn't show this part. The dad was trying to find every other way because he was a struggling man. You know, he was probably a working man, but he was trying to find every way to make his son better. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to find every way to get his son back. So what did he decide to do? Prayer wasn't working. His finances wasn't working. So he decided to consult the devil and sell his soul. So yeah, he sold his soul, which is all of that dumb shit that was going on, the fire and stuff like that, the, the damn creature in the forest, the blood on his hand. He sold his soul, died, his son got better. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was. So yeah, boom, y'all got it from me. Y'all know what the story is about. I mean, it was obvious. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you pay attention to what was going on in the game, you would know that. And that was obviously the devil and his little spawns and shit in our room. You know what I'm saying? So. That was a good game. I like that. So if you want to try it yourself, check the link. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. I'm out.